y'all welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be doing a grocery haul first which I'm gonna be showing you in a minute um, I'm gonna show you everything I got from HEB and I had to get a few items from Kroger's because HEB doesn't have Kroger coke honey so yeah we had to go to two different grocery stores today and then I'm also gonna be sharing a meal idea with you after the grocery haul. All right, so first off, we got a 24 pack of water from Kroger. It's still on the floor because I don't feel like picking it up because your girl's a little tired from bringing the groceries in. Well, I didn't bring in all of them, obviously. Alan helped, but yeah. Um, and don't mind my mess. I'm gonna pick that up, okay? Chill. All right, so here is a quick overview of everything I got. I'm gonna start over here. So these are HEB brand, just some Tupperware. I was gonna do some meal prep, which I will be sharing with y'all. And this was a three pack. Um, this one has like divided, which I thought was really cool. And then these are just plain little Tupperware. They were only like a dollar or something each, which I thought was really good. So I got um, those two packs and that's also a pack of three. I got a dozen eggs and I got some frozen meals. And I'm gonna show you each one, girl. So this one here is the, um, oh, this is, what? What happened to Lean Cuisine? Now it's Live Cuisine? Girl, that's Lean Cuisine. That's Lean Cuisine too. I guess they just decided to change it for a minute. But this looked really good. This is ricotta and spinach meatless meatballs pasta bowl. Doesn't that look good? It's a meatless option or whatever. Um, so yeah, I thought that looked pretty tasty, so I got one of those. I got this um, chicken with spinach fettuccine. I got Santa Fe rice and beans. This is one of my favorites. Me and my mom love this one. Um, I got chicken enchilada. I got tortilla crusted fish from Lean Cuisine also. I got some butter. I got some Italian sausages, some chicken cutlets, some ground turkey two packs of thick bone-in pork chops, three packs of these little cherry tomatoes because they were only a dollar something, so why not? We got lots of Gatorade. So we got two Powerades. Um, these two are watermelon, strawberry kiwi. This is a Gatorade strawberry kiwi, Gatorade frost icy charge, Powerade melon, and then we got four strawberry and watermelon Gatorade that Alan already broke into. We got some orange juice, lactose-free milk. We got some olive oil. We got some simply popped sea salt popcorn. And then we got some of this stuff to try. We've never tried this before, but it's theater style popcorn seasoning spray. Um, butter flavor, thought that'd be cool. We're gonna test that out. We got some provolone, some hummus, some rotisserie chicken um, lunch meat. We got some jalapeno cheese cheese balls from HEB. We got some hot and spicy cup noodle. Got some of that Jesus bread again. Got this bread, submarine rolls. Got some of these blue diamond nut thins made with brown rice, almonds, and flaxseed to go along with my hummus. Got one of these little pasta kits. We got a head of lettuce. We got Caesar salad. We got some baby corn for fun, some cottage cheese, some mixed vegetables, some mini cucumbers, an onion, avocado, tomato and oh, that's not a tomato that's a red bell pepper and that's a green bell pepper i was actually just about to ask alan like hey what happened to the other bell pepper it's not a tomato honey i'm sorry um we also got a little chunk of watermelon here and then we got some kroger coke so yeah that is my grocery haul of the day i'm gonna charge my battery on my camera for a little bit because it is dying um and then i'm going to share a meal idea with y'all Okay, see you in a little bit. All right, so for tonight's meal idea, we're gonna be making some gypsy style sausage and peppers and an onion. So I'm gonna be cutting up a red bell pepper, a green bell pepper, onion, and then we're also gonna be using these Italian sausage links. And we're actually going to be making this into a sandwich and I'll show you the rest of the ingredients in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up um, off camera because my battery is actually still charging um, and then I'll show you what they look like and like how I cut them up afterwards Okay, I decided to actually cut the camera on just for a minute um, I'm cutting the tops off of the peppers and then I'm going to de-seed them I'm gonna rinse them out and then I'm gonna chop them up 
I actually left the tripod thing that holds my camera at my mom's, so weird angles and filming for this video. Forgive me, but that's happening. So yeah, I cut the tops off, I'm gonna de-seed them, and then we're gonna chop them up. Alright, so these are the rolls we're gonna be using. I showed you guys these in the grocery haul. These are submarine rolls. Okay, so I just finished cutting up the onions and the bell peppers, and I just tried to cut them as thin as possible, like that. I know they're gonna cook down and kinda get smaller a little bit. Um, and the same with the onions, so what I'm doing right now, I turned the heat on, and we're gonna pour some oil in the pan first. We're gonna let that heat up and then we're gonna add in our onions and peppers first. And then we're gonna add in our sausage after. So these are the sausages and I seasoned them with garlic powder and onion powder. They don't really need it because they're already like seasoned, you know? Um, but I just kinda did the outside just to be extra. Yeah, so I got some oil in the pan, just some uh, extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna let that heat up and then I'm gonna throw in my onions and my peppers. I cannot believe I forgot that little thing that I need to hold my camera up, so I'm just going solo, holding it like this, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw all my peppers in there and the onions. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a little onion powder, a little garlic powder, and then I'm also gonna add in some black pepper. We love our pepper. Boop, 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 boop. So I'm gonna give that a little stir, just to kinda mix the seasonings on there good and kinda get them down in the pan like that so they'll all cook evenly. So I just wanted to say I added a little butter in there as well for some extra flavor. And then I'm also going to add some of this minced garlic. But I'm gonna let these cook for just a few minutes before I add in the garlic. All right, so I just added in a couple squeezes of the minced garlic. I'm gonna give this just a few minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the sausages in here. All right, so, ooh. Go ahead and start adding the sausages in there so it can all cook together and all those flavors can mend. Yum. All right, so I went ahead and cut some up already as you can see here. I just wanted to show you guys how I'm cutting them. So I'm just sticking my fork in it and taking my kitchen scissors as I always do, girl. And I'm just cutting up the sausage like this. You can do it however you choose, but this is like literally the easiest way to do things for me. Just makes it more simple, not as complicated. So yeah, just pick it up with your fork and chop it up with them scissors. These aren't done yet, as you can see in the middle, so I'm gonna let them cook a little bit longer, but I figured I would just cut into them now so that way they cook a little faster because I'm starving, okay? So I'm gonna continue cutting these up and then I'm gonna let it finish cooking and then I'll show you the next steps. All right, so my sausage and peppers is almost done. In another pan, I put some butter in there. I turned the heat on so it would melt a little bit. So I took the bread and I butterflied it and I'm kind of like flattening it out like this. And then I'm gonna put it in the pan with the butter we're just gonna toast that inside with that butter in the pan. So I just put my little breads in the pan there. I'm gonna be smushing them down with a little spatula, not my hands. <laughs> um, I'm gonna let them cook for a few minutes. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off, and then when these are done, I'll show you what it looks like. We're also going to be adding some of this provolone cheese. And yes, I already ate a half a slice. I told you I was starving. I don't know if I told y'all this already, but we're gonna be having these chips with our sandwiches. So these are kettle potato chips, kettle brand potato chips, whatever. And they're pepperoncini flavor. They're so good. My bread is getting nice and toasty. These are staying a little hot because they're still in the same spot. <laughs> I just rhymed, yeah. 
Um, and then as soon as these are done, we're gonna slap that cheese on there, baby. It's gonna be a good sandwich. All right, so this is what it's looking like. The bread's done. I laid the cheese in there and put the peppers inside. Now I'm gonna smush it together. So that's my sandwich and my chips. I'm actually gonna cut this in half. Mm. I haven't been into my sandwich yet. I'm snacking on the chips. They're so good. <laughs> Alan is still making his sandwich. Y'all already know Alan has to perfect his food. Which is why his food always looks better than mine. Which is why I always want to eat his. Because it looks better than mine. Makes sense. Anyway. So this is Alan's plate. Look how good it looks. He has sausage and peppers on the side and the sandwich is stuffed with sausage and peppers and lots of cheese. Tell me what you think, boy. My big crunching in the background. Mm. <laughs> good, right? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy, yummy. Mm-hmm. Way better, better than any sandwich shop. Oh yeah? Hey, babe. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and finish our food. We're gonna watch a little movie. You know, dinner and a movie. Date night at home. That's how we roll. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we just finished eating. And now, I'm gonna clean up my little mess. This is all that was left. It was so good, y'all. All right, let's get this cleaning started.
So anyway, I just got finished cleaning up the kitchen. It's all nice and clean. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now. Just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you're gonna be trying them sandwiches down below in the comments. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Give this video a like and I'll